They said it couldn't be done. They said we couldn't do it. They said I couldn't do it. They said you couldn't do it. But guess what? Today, we are going to be making the Skrillex Humble Brass Sound, and this is what it sounds like. All up, bitches. What is going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. In today's video, you already know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and make this sound. Now first things first, Oscillator A, we're gonna leave that on that basic sawtooth waveform. That is the defaulted sound here. And now we're just gonna go ahead and turn up the unison up 16 so we can get some voices in here, make it sound thick. And also guys, if you're new here and you haven't already checked out the rest of the videos or know about the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button for the best serum tutorials on YouTube, baby. Now, anyways, go ahead and turn on the noise oscillator. And we're just gonna leave it on AC hum number one. Now into oscillator B here, we're gonna be leaving it on the basic defaulted sawtooth waveform as well. And we're actually just gonna be turning up the unison up to four and turning down the detuning. Now, we have two oscillators, both the same waveforms, but they're the same pitch. So go ahead and turn down oscillator A's octave down one so we can thicken it up a little bit. And now into the warp selection of oscillator B, we're actually gonna be increasing the pitch of the sync, or of the sound here. And we can do that with the sync by introducing more and more cycles of the waveform as we start to go up here into a single cycle. And that creates a nice harmonic sound as opposed to just turning up the octave up one. Now into the filter, we are going to select our uh, we got to go into the flanges and select our H6 minus. So that's our H6 minus flanger filter. And before we touch anything at all, turn it on for oscillator A, oscillator B, and of course the noise oscillator. And one quick adjustment, turn on key keyboard tracking here. That way, whatever note that we press on our keyboard, the cutoff is going to move with it. So now it comes down to tuning. Go ahead and turn up the resonance. Let's find a nice spot in here. We can leave it around here and touch it later, um, but this is the mix is gonna go around to 50%. And this is just gonna, good, what? <laughs> this is just gonna be adding in some extra tones and making the sound sound a little bit harder and hit like a banger. So now into the effects section, we're going to start off with our distortion, turn on tube distortion, of course. Blast that drive 100, and then that mix is going to go down to around 32%. But, you know, it's not really controlled, all right? The, the distortion's just distorting everything. So turn on pre, that way we can go ahead and adjust what specific frequencies we're distorting. Turn it to um, just about our band pass here. That way we can go ahead and move it right around here. And we're really only distorting those mid-range frequencies. Pretty cool trick, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our EQ. Okay, and our EQ is going to be used as a filter. First things first, turn both of our, our uh, slopes here into a low pass and a high pass, or a high pass and a low pass, my bad. And now we're, we have a band pass essentially. Um, but we're gonna be changing it up, changing it up a little bit. Oh my gosh! Um, go ahead and take our macro number one, turn it onto the frequency. This is gonna control the high pass, and now take our macro number one once again and turn it onto the frequency. Except turn it up a little, a little bit, and then have it go all the way back here. And this effect is gonna be really, really. Uh, useful when we're creating those brass stabs that sound like a hybrid unique sound that Skrillex does in the original track when they sound all filtered and they're cutting out and being modulated so we're gonna end up modulating the macro one when we're actually using this in a song now as you can hear there sounds like a the resonance is way too high so go ahead and turn down these Q factors to around 50% that way we don't really have anything peeking out here except I'm gonna turn this one even lower much better all right now into the compressor turn on our multi band of course and then just turn up the gain 
Uh, maybe turn on the high band a tad bit. That way we have less of a threshold on that bad boy. Finally, turn on our hyper, hyper and dimension. Um, here, the settings, we're just gonna turn up the mix a little bit on the hyper, and the dimension is gonna stay a very low percent as well as we're gonna turn up the mix, so that way we don't, um, that way we can just actually end up getting good stereo width without sounding like that. So. That's what we have right now. It could be better. Let's go ahead and turn on our X for Records OTT. And maybe turn up the tuning a tad bit here. And mess around with the filter. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the sound and this tutorial. If you guys like this video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button. And if you're new here, check out the rest of these videos. We literally have hundreds upon hundreds of serum tutorials that you can watch right now for free. Now guys, also if you're interested in getting some FM from B shirts, I know we didn't do FM from B in this tutorial, <laughs> go ahead and click or go to rocketpoweredswag.com or just click the link on rocketpoweredsound.com that says swag and that's going to get you guys a ton of sound designer swag. Anyways guys, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.